see i want to show you four different ways how you can get started without any experience and the last one might surprise you because i didn't know about this one when i was younger hey what's up my name is joachim barrio and i've been working remote for the last six years and for the last two years and a half i've been living as a digital nomad and i do have to say the life is as beautiful as you imagine like i always dreamed of like working at the beach anywhere in the world traveling the world seeing different cultures and i did that in this video i wanted to explain to you how you can get started with remote job because i didn't have any experience when i started out i just graduated from school and didn't do anything with my degree i want to show you four different ways how you can get started without any experience and the last one might surprise you because i didn't know about this one when i was younger so before we go in i just want to quickly briefly talk about my experience i did graduate in applied computer science so that meant that i did have tech skills but i didn't want to do anything with it so what i did is i followed a course on how to start an own social media advertising agency and then it took me six months of hard work and dedication and zero income just trying to learn everything and try to get experience then after the six months i had my first client pay 500 a month then i had my second client paying a thousand a month and actually with 1500 it would almost be enough to live in bali or in da Nang, vietnam but of course i saved up some more money and got some more clients first so let's dive in the easiest way to get started is just to ask your current employer because of the pandemic a lot of companies now are used to working remote with people and most people are just scared to ask so and i know some people that just asked and then they could in the beginning it was like three days remote and then two days they had to be at the office but then when that trust was earned they could go for longer times and that time they could go on a holiday or like a workation be abroad and still work for the company so that would be the easiest way in my opinion to do it but there's a high chance of course that they would say no a second way you could do it is as a company you currently work at if they would rehire you but on a freelance basis and this is exactly what my friend did we did a full one hour interview with her to go through how she did it because this was a question a lot of people in the digital nomad community had and she explained it in detail how she did it that's also where today's sponsor comes in so today's sponsor is the digital nomad accelerator this is a course that i made that boils down all the research i did in the last seven years in like one weekend so that you can become a digital nomad as quickly as possible Possible. And not only that, as a bonus, you will get access to a community of at this moment 130 people that are on the same goal like you and also other experienced digital moments that can guide you with all your questions that you have. On top of that, we also have Digital Nomad Stories where we interview other digital nomads and that share their story to get us inspired on how they did it. And besides that, you also have classes on how to become a freelancer, how to start your e-commerce store, how to sell digital products, how to build a following on Instagram. Actually, all the knowledge that I have, I'm putting there inside and I'm only asking $8 per month. So if you want to support the channel, this would be the best way to support us. So my friend did this and by doing that, she could work freelance and she had her first customer already because it was the old company that she was working working for and that allowed her to go to Spain and live in Spain and now she had a fixed income as a freelancer for her current client or her old boss and she still added other clients to that as well so that is also a way to do it if those two options don't work out another option could be to just find a remote job and usually those are in the niches of marketing sales tech HR accountancy and there are more companies than you would think that are hiring these positions because these positions are very valuable so if you have any of these positions or experience with your previous jobs in these fields chances for you to find remote jobs are pretty high the only downside i would say about a remote job especially if you want to become a digital nomad is that most of the time you have to work their working hours so imagine you're in bali and and you work for an american company that means that you will have to work at night which is not ideal i think for most people if i look in the co-working space at night and i see those people working i always feel bad for them so i wouldn't advise that but hey they pay really good usually the starting positions start from a 30,000 to 45,000 US dollars per year, which I think is a lot, especially for a remote job that is very interesting. And if you have no experience at places like Course Career that will bring you up to speed for a specific job in six to 12 weeks, instead of going to a university where you have to learn so much and it will take you four years. I have a link of them in the description if that can help you out. Then if that is not an option for you, you can become a freelancer. A freelancer is somebody that works for themselves, that is self-employed and that will work on a contract basis or with different clients 
to make money and bring them value. This is a very viable path and this is the path that I chose. Why? Because I'm an entrepreneur, I love to have my own hours, I love to have my own flexibility and I love to choose who I want to work with. So this is a path I chose. And before you think like, oh my God, I have no experience. I never done that. Like when I started as a freelancer, I did Facebook ads and Instagram ads. Do you think I've learned Facebook ads and Instagram ads on school? No. Do you think I learned it on college? No. I had to learn it by myself. So I bought a course. I actually bought multiple courses because I really want to get myself up to speed. But those courses gave me the knowledge to start doing something like that. And don't be scared to invest in yourself, especially if you want to chase a career in that field and the money I've spent I've earned back a hundred times because that was the start of my business so if there's anything you want to do as a freelancer you actually can by just learning it and I would advise you to learn a high income skill and it could be different things it could be Facebook ads it could be copywriting it could be video editing like just look at what is needed in the future and in my opinion two things that are always needed is marketing and sales because every company wants to grow and what does every company need to grow that is marketing and sales so if you're doing something in that field you will always make money as a freelancer and you will always be needed but of course you can also do different things like graphic works or whatever because maybe you're thinking like you know what i don't think i'm smart enough to learn facebook ads and i've just been working as an administrative person in a company you could also become a virtual assistant you know how many people need a virtual assistant and as a virtual assistant you can work from anywhere and you would just help people in their company with administrative tasks even i i hire vas to do specific tasks and usually they don't need to have any experience if they can speak english i will teach them exactly what they need to know to do the task for me for example if it comes to my accounting it's a very repetitive task. I don't like to do that. So I will hire a VA. I will train the VA to do it exactly how I would do it. And then they do it every month for me. This is something you could do as well. If you have like just administrative tasks or you don't want to learn a new skill and you just want to roll with the skills you already have, that could be a very good option. So let's say you decided to become a freelancer. How do you get clients? And this is the thing that most people underestimate. It's easy to learn a skill and to have that skill, but now you have to offer that skill, right? So what I would advise you to do is make a profile on Fiverr and Upwork. It's just a great way to get started. And usually you would not have a lot of customers in the beginning, but at least your profile is there. You can showcase your portfolio and maybe somebody searching for a specific thing and might bump into your profile or on Upwork. You can also actively pitch if companies put a project out there and you can pitch yourself to work on that project. So that's why I would highly recommend to make a profile on both of these parties, but also start building maybe your personal brand on Instagram and TikTok and showcase your portfolio, showcase your expertise, showcase your knowledge. Because if I noticed one thing in my digital nomad journey is like, most of my clients always came to my personal brand because I was posting on Instagram and I was showing my results that I was having and people were intrigued. And whenever they thought about somebody to help them out with their Facebook ads, they would think about me. So I would do those three things. Go make profiles on these gig platforms, but also don't forget to build your own personal brand because it can help you and it will bring you a long way. And again, all those things you can learn from YouTube. You can buy courses about that. But again, don't be scared to invest time in yourself. And that could be searching on YouTube or don't be scared to invest money in yourself. And that could be buying courses just to fast track the journey. Fourth way to have a remote income would be starting an online business. And in my opinion, there are two ways to do it that are just the easiest to start. And one would be selling physical products. And the second one would be selling digital products. And with the digital products, it's very interesting because there's so many options that weren't out there like a few years ago that are an option right now that could help you a lot. But let's first look at physical products. So what I would do if I wanna have a remote income is I would start an e-commerce business. And with this e-commerce business, I would just set it up. I would build it in Shopify. I will sell products. So I will just take pictures of products and I would search for a partnership with a supplier and it would work like I would build a website and if somebody orders something, I will call the supplier or I'll email the supplier and tell them somebody ordered that and the supplier would ship it to the customer. It is actually called drop shipping. So this is a very good way to get started. Could be a little bit complex and you need a little bit of upfront money because you need marketing and all that stuff. But I think it's still a good way because you don't have to invest in stock which is usually the most expensive part of starting an e-commerce business but if you're bold and you have some money to spend i think it would be better to buy stock in bulk and then start selling that because you have more control over the experience that you're going to deliver to your customers so this is also something that i did with my sister and it's still running and i'm really happy that we did so because it is very scalable 
Then the other option would be selling digital products. So maybe you have some knowledge that you had from the past that is very valuable for other people. You could sell it as a course or an ebook. You could build an ebook in Canva in one weekend and you can sell it for like 27 euros and you could make a lot of money with that. Or actually the easier way in my opinion is you could sell done for you digital products. So these are digital products or courses that have already been recorded and when you buy them you can also sell them as your own which is actually pretty interesting because if it's a good course and you learned a lot you already have a product that you can sell immediately so i made an extra video about that i will put the link down below if you're interested in that but that is it so you have now four different ways to get started to have a remote income and if you have that remote income you can live the digital nomad lifestyle and i'm telling you it is the best thing that ever happened and i wish this for everyone so hopefully you will get started maybe i'll see you in the next video and maybe i'll see you in the digital nomad accelerator buddy out